husband knows and wife who's what's going on my name is Sermzar and welcome to another live reaction review of supposed kid from the last dungeon boonies move to a starter town now the last arc was already concluded very quickly which is actually great uh so now we're going to be leading off into some newer stuff i think this is going to be i always forget i believe this is going to be a 12 episode series and i believe this might actually end up being maybe the last arc uh the title of this episode has me very intrigued which we will read of course when it shows up but the conclusion of the Turiant shit was very interesting indeed and you know now it's our confirmed suspicions that Lloyd's brother is suspicious as fuck we cannot trust him I don't know if Lloyd has the heart to not trust his brother and to think of him as a bad guy but we're going to see if Alka ends up revealing that to him because I think Lloyd kind of has like a soft heart where he feels like he can't accomplish anything without the help of others which is true but he is strong in his own right maybe might be the weakest hero in Kunlun but he's still Lloyd and he's still the main protagonist so we're going to see how this is going to progress forward now before we hop into this episode if you guys haven't already please subscribe we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year last month was a lot slow but this month we might be able to pick things up a little bit so please subscribe if you haven't already about 62 percent of you guys are not subscribed it would really mean a lot if you guys subscribe please so let's hop into this episode of suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies Move to a starter town. Ba, 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 ba. Oh shit! Okay, so things are gonna start finally start moving because now we see her again. And then uh this Count Dracula bitch looking ass. Jesus? She wants to kill Lloyd. Tylenol. A turmeric shot she could get from Jamba Juice. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, this, this took a dark turn. It took a dark turn really fast. I don't know, homie. You got blood on your wings. I don't know. You look like a bug to me. Suppose you visited an early dungeon but encountered three final bosses. This was the title that I was talking about that I thought was very interesting. There's a few games that did this. Man, Lloyd wakes up early just to make breakfast. I wish I had that energy in the morning. I don't anymore. She is the princess. <laughs> that's Selene. Selene, that's the princess. Lloyd's harem is slowly growing. Yeah, it won't be dangerous for him. Oh, Alka's on the lookout. You know, you know she's on the lookout because something real about to happen. When the chief of Kunlun is out looking for showman Anton. What is this? A test of courage? I like how Lloyd hears all of this, but it still phases through him. Like it doesn't affect him. He's like, oh, they're just having fun. What the heck? <laughs> Why is he threatening the king? Oh, she be watching. She's on the lookout. Well, So is the one that wants to kill Alka. Alka, I'm sure, wants to just stop So. Riho is like the most casual one. <laughs> Leave Alan alone. He's just useless. <laughs> Her groceries might get stolen, though. <laughs> She's asking Rio. I feel like a lot of that is just uh, she didn't know that Lloyd's the one that was uh doing the massage. <laughs> Why is it two v one now? They're doing this in the middle of a dungeon, but then again, they're all strong. So, <laughs> no, that's Marie, <laughs> Marie and Alka. Oh my God! <laughs> Taking a shortcut. A tree on Mikona. Oh shit! Wasn't she a bee? Did she have like wings and shit? <laughs> Makona, Makona hasn't even told Marie how she feels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Yaoi we all wanted. Oh, God. <laughs> See, like, like, she has to be up front. She's leaving Marie out in the open. Like, who, who is it that you love? Oh, my God. Makona, dumb as fuck. Tentacle play. Oh, this is turning into a really bad anti. This might be the thumbnail that I want, though. <laughs> She's so bad. No, she just loves you. Marie, put two and two together. Put two and two together. Now it's so obvious who she loves. <laughs> yeah, that is right. <laughs> it took me a while to get it. Oh, she turned into a cockroach. <laughs> Put two and two together for Yuri! 
Oh, let's go, Lloyd! Yo, Lloyd's being serious! Let's go! Oh, shit, let's go! Oh, my God. It's so... Oh, wow. She she got them big... No, no, he didn't. You took everything from yourself. You're the failure. You think Marie would want to be with a cockroach lady? <laughs> he just tossed her. <laughs> Let's go, Lloyd! <gasps> she, she, she was like, she shot. <laughs> the wound's probably healed up already. Lloyd, one punch man her, dude! No, Lloyd, serious! Yo, Lloyd eating that, though. <laughs> she. She thought she had it all ended. She thought she ha she thought she had it all. When Lloyd had the upper hand this whole match. This is some um, Super Mario 64 type of stuff. What the heck is this? <laughs> I mainly protect magical seals and maintain Alka's powers. <laughs> that lolly grandma. <laughs> Everyone hates Alka. Marie understands. Ah, uh, I was like, when are we gonna see the three bosses? So the snake is a boss, obviously, but the snake seems to be like a good boss. Makona is one of the boss, and here is the other boss. A demon, a demon lord, bad man. <laughs> Dude, I love how the snake acts like a fucking earthworm. He really wants to go to Kunlun, but I feel like if he goes to Kunlun, he's going to die. No! He was such a cool character, even though we've only met him for like two minutes. <laughs> he said meaningless. Gets fucking need to the face. Oh, the snake is with her now. <laughs> She is literally the worst, but the best character. <laughs> yeah, Alan plus Ultra! <laughs> Alan is the best! But Alan is still inside looking for them. Oh, poor Alan, dude. <laughs> the true hero, Alan! <laughs> oh, no! That's, that's the sign of an actual demon lord. Oh shit! So is the hero that he looks up to. <laughs> Everyone's reaction, wait, we're going to fucking Coon Loon. This was a very fast paced episode, I should say. Even though it was fast paced, I didn't really mind it at all. It's not like I, it felt like it was bum rushed, but there was a lot that happened this episode. Us getting, us seeing Makona get her powers, Lloyd fighting Makona and protecting everyone, them seeing the snake, but ends up being a friend of Lloyd, who is also the belt that is attached to Selene, and the reveal of So, who is the main antagonist who you used to be the protagonist, the real hero. Like usually when it comes to this, there would usually be steps, there, there'd usually be build up. Makona getting her powers, Lloyd going through the dungeon, fighting certain things, and then the episode would usually end right at him meeting Makona. The next episode would be the fight against Makona. Then the episode after that, maybe him uh, meeting with the snake and then So's appearance. So this could have been split up in three episodes if they're going to go the usual shonen episode type of thing where they prolong things way longer than it should. Uh, the pacing of this, it was fast and it was not bad because at least we got a lot of information there, but it makes me curious to see how how much more is going to be involved in this anime if there's going to be a second season and whatnot uh because it feels like we're nearing the end of the actual series altogether now i'm curious for people who read the light novel if you guys can answer this without spoiling uh they changed a few things in the light novel in comparison to the anime or the manga or whatever is it faster paced did things get cut out uh, i'm just curious because it does feel like some things may have been cut out but it's not a bad thing for me as anime only kind of like uh I, I obviously have to make a video about the promised neverland a little bit later but at least at this point uh, i'm curious to see if anything important was skipped out i know people would suggest oh you should read it god i hate reading i love that alan got a lot of praise alan best 
boy, idol hero. Because he really didn't do anything. He, I'm sure he would have gladly accepted the reward if he, if it was deserving. But he really didn't do anything. At least he's not there going like, yes, I did all of that. Kind of like um, Baja from Black Clover. But at least he's honest about that. But all in all, good episode, fun episode on top of that. Marie almost getting herself stuck into a really bad hentai from Makona. But I'm sure Makona's going to come back. I'm sure she's not dead. Lloyd just threw her up in the sky some straight Bowser type of stuff. So we'll see if she comes back, which I have a feeling she probably will. But anyways, guys, that is my live reaction review of suppose a kid from the last dungeon boonies moved to a starter town. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys go and drop a like for me because that would help me a lot. And please subscribe. We're trying to get to 50k. Let's go.